All right. So how much time do we have left there, Robbie? We've do we have time for another got question? Five minutes. Four. Well, four minutes. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, if there's a, yeah, if there's a question. All right. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm waiting for. Oh, it's like, okay. <laughs> oh, a question. She's been holding out on us. Here, this one is from Derek, a.k.a. Hey, Derek. Mr. Scary. Derek says, I was wondering if you could elaborate on your distaste of Gizmo 5. Was your assessment based on Michael Robertson's uh, miraculous ability to attract lawsuits? Or was it anything to do with the quality of the product? Do you think his litigiousness... I think I'm saying that right. That's a fancy word. Is due to his business practices encroaching too close to his neighbor's intellectual property line? I was just wondering. I don't use a home phone, and I was looking at either Skype or Gizmo for a backup, just in case I couldn't find my cell phone. The rates for dial-out and call-in numbers are better with Gizmo. I haven't found a review where Skype beat out Gizmo, although Skype 2 is said to be a quality product. If you know of any additional information, it would be appreciated. I like that Gizmo is an open protocol and is SIP phone compatible. Thanks from Derek. Yeah, that's kind of the key if you're looking at Gizmo is the fact that they've announced that it's going to be able to, uh, it is able to call to Skype users, for example, uh, with, with an SIP. So Can Skype you know call to Gizmo? Are? I'm not sure. Oh. I've never tried. I know what Skype is. I know like Gizmo voice over IP is meant to be like anyone can call anyone, but yeah, okay. it hasn't always been the way. I think Gizmo has tried pretty hard, but you know what those are, eh? Like, it's just applications for making phone calls basically through the web. Supports yeah. video. Yeah, and I audio speak to my cousin in China. Cool. Mm. Is that Skype? Yeah. Cool. I don't use it, but he phones our home phone. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, Derek, just looking at your questions there, there's quite a bit to go over. Um, with regards to my thoughts on Michael Robertson, it's, it's like I don't know the guy personally, so I won't, I won't talk too much about him, but uh, he's the founder of mp3.com. He sold mp3.com, uh, started Lin's, uh, Lindos which got sued by Microsoft for infringing on their trademark. Um, they switched their name to Linspire. Then they switched to Freespire. Then they, uh, you know, this and that. Gizmo came out, uh, click and run, all these different applications that Michael Robertson founded. Uh, but I feel like he just doesn't necessarily follow through all the time. Like, Linspire was such a letdown to the community uh, for those who were interested in it. A lot of people didn't like it in the first place because of the proprietary uh, kind of nature of it. Uh, but I think that it was a good venture uh, in that it was kind of like meant to be a Linux distribution that was legitimately including MP3 driver, uh, codecs and things like that. So I just felt like he never followed through. So that to me was enough of a red flag to make me not really want to uh, trust as something that I'm going to be putting money into. Mm. I, I put some money into Linspire and I was disappointed when it basically, you know, Michael Robertson just kind of went and walked out the door and never told anybody. So uh, so then everybody was left going, huh, and there's a whole bunch of shareholders saying, well, what do we do now? We just lost a lot of money. So um, so I don't like that. Um, but as far as the software goes, Gizmo does look like a good piece of software. I know one of my buddies uses, uh, used it, um, but was having some trouble with, uh, with like stuttering audio and stuff like that. So he switched to Skype and said he's never again had problems. So. So I think Skype versus Gizmo, my friend had better luck with Skype, uh, but I think that you might want to try it for yourself. So if it's, an, if it's a cost thing, if you want to keep your long distance low and Gizmo's giving you the better rates, won't hurt you to install Gizmo. Spend $10 on long distance, give it a try. If you're happy with it, awesome. Uh, I would start with that. Always buy the cheapest, and, and if you're happy with it, then why bother with something that costs more, right? But if you have problems with uh, Gizmo, then I would switch to Skype. All right. I hope that that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. That's being frugal. Yeah. 